Aha, my heart is. A very, very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. And I thought I'd pop up and say a quick hi to you. It's quarter to 11 on Saturday morning. That's UK time. And I thought some of the sleepy heads might be up and about by now. Dinky doo, Thai talk. How lovely to have you with us. This is just wonderful. Hi, Scotty says, Oh, bam, int. Oh, bam, int. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky doo to you from me, Scotty McClue. Lovely to be live on TikTok. Now, lots and lots to tell you. So do tell. Let's get likes. Tappity, 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 tap. And can we have some followers, please? I need to have some people following, if you don't mind. Lovely to have you all with us, and a big dinky do to you. Hi, Max. Uh, Ty Talk, so good to have you. Haven't heard from you for some time, so it's good that you're back. Molly Scotty, how are you today, sir? Skid, it's good to have you with us, and dinky do. Lovely to have you all along on the old TikTok. Spread the word, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClue's live just for you, Saturday morning. Wonderful stuff. Uh, we're very well. Thank you very much for asking. Just tremendous stuff. And great to see all of you now. Uh, you'll be busy. You'll have lots of things to do, but you can spare a few minutes to say hi to Scotty McClue. Is this the morning pop-up? Well, Obama, did I let you into a secret? We popped up a lot earlier this morning. So we've already popped up today. So this is our second Saturday morning pop-up because I had to go live on YouTube. If you look in front of you at my bio, you'll see just below it the YouTube URL for the YouTube channel. Now, what's happening is we've started a new phone-in. So we're actually going live phone-in on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and LinkedIn, but we bring the TikTokers in as well. So there you go. Thanks, sir. Hope you have a lovely day. Absolutely, Skid, you too. So there we go. So, Obama, it's actually the second pop-up of the Saturday. How amazing is that? But it's lovely to talk to you all. I hope you like my Glenn Gary I've put on for you. I thought that would be quite a nice touch to have that for you there as well. Thanks, absolutely. Fit like your Obama, fit like Ryan, who's your dues? Fit's happening with you, I say, in Aberdeen. Have you had your breakfast yet? Did you hear some softies? Or did you hear a rowie or two? I'm traveling to Co-Winning from Perth today. Skid, what a lovely, lovely journey. Both nice places. We like Perth and Co-Winning. You're always dressed smartly, Scotty. Well, I've got no tie on this morning, but I do like to turn myself out well as a mark of respect for you guys. I think it's so important. Rowies, you're hearing the rowies. Do you like your rowies, Chris Bryan? Or do you just tuck them as they are, the batteries? Uh, batteries. Do you vote SNP? Well, senor, I'm apolitical, so I just vote at the time for who I think's the best party. But I do believe, I'm not um, uh, affiliated to NMD at all, but I do believe Scotland could do very well economically away from the clutches of Westminster. But I am slightly anxious about um, the monarchy, I wouldn't want an independent Scotland without Her Majesty the Queen as the head of state, because she always has been our head of state. So if there's any whiff of republicanism, then obviously independence is dead in the water, kicked into the long grass. Ah, what a laugh, says Jesse. Absolutely, what a laugh, Jesse. Hi, Scotty McClure. Hello, amazing Adam. How lovely to have you with us and a big dinky doo to you. Amazing, Adam. But you are educated. It's uneducated people who vote for the SNP. No, it's educated people that can see Scotland's potential. So remember, Scotland's always been an independent country, except for a blip of 313 years. Scotty, it's scandalous the Scottish government not giving the ferry contract to Ferguson's. Yes, Ty Talk, I do find it strange what going abroad. Uh, maybe if you want independence, you can meet. If you want independence, you can have it. Well, Jussie, you're saying that now, but don't bite the hand that feeds you. Remember, the Scots have kept you living in England for years. Us Brits don't care uh, anymore. Well, you do really, because you're in trouble with Brexit, you see. That's caused terrific problems. Scotty McClue, dinky-doo. Was quick. Uh, what do we got here? 
was a quick visit. Speak to you again soon. Take care. Absolutely skid. Enjoy yourself and have a lovely day. Thank you very much. Black Watch, says Chris. Well, actually, Argyles, that one, Chris. Opinions on the Balmoral. Yes, indeed. We send so much money to Scotland. Jussie, you don't send a bean to Scotland. Scotland sends so much money to you. £75 billion pounds a year. So don't bite the hand that feeds you, chime. There we go. Absolutely chummy. Okay. Ah, you like your hat, Scotty. Thank you, Leo. Very good to have you with us. Excellent stuff. The other way around, Scotland sends England money. You clown, says top of the morning. Oh, top of the morning. That's a bit hard calling Jussie a clown. Scotty, I'm afraid I have tore my ACL. Is that your crucial ligament? Nine-month recovery. Oh, Dylan. I'm so sorry to hear that. Where is that crucial ligament based? Is it in the ankle or behind the knee? Who's that behind you? That's me. That's Scotty McClue and Lord Reith the Labrador. Fantastic. And I'll just give you a quick scratch at the other one as well. There you are. That's me there too, you see. Fantastic. It's our oil. Well, it always has been our oil, Titok. But oil's not the main thing. There's a lot of these renewables now. Uh, Scotland is a very, very wealthy country. Otherwise, Westminster would have dumped it years ago. There we are. Hello, Scotty from Clyde Bank. We love the bankies. Excellent, Stephen. Good to have you with us and a big dinky do. You're looking good, mate. I thank you, Fabian. Can I ask everybody watching to look in front of their face right now at my bio? Below that is the YouTube URL. Tap it. Subscribe and tap the bell for the phone in tonight at 10 o'clock. Phone in is huge. Uh, there we are. Now, Calon, you never, ever need to say that because your day came 99 years ago. There we are. You've had your day, so you can chuck all that stuff. We must get independence. Once we've done that, we must get back into the European Union. Well, we have to secure the monarchy first. Step one, ensure Her Majesty the Queen's future in perpetuity, as head of state for Scotland, is sorted. Then independence. Then European Union. And off we jolly well go. Uh, Glasgow was the industrial heart that England lived on. Of course, Chris, second city of the empire. Fantastic. The island of Isla pays over 300 million in tax alone. All about the whiskey. Ross, we love the island of Isla. We say to everybody in Isla, Kamara hu maha dinky do. There we are. Just woke up with a hangover, Scotty. Help. Uh, yes, stop drinking, Will. That's the answer. How are you, Scotty? We're fine, Febin. It's in the knee, my good sir. I'm in crutches. Require total reconstruction. Now, is that the one behind the knee? So the kneecaps, the patella, the patella, and you've got your ACL behind the knees. Am I correct? How did you do it, may I ask? Scotty, dinky do to you. Alan Mackay, how lovely to hear from you. Remind me of the guy from Still Game from Blair Tannock. Well, you see, I'll tell you something. There's a rumor that I was the original inspiration for Still Game with my flat cap. Do follow us as soon as you can. Hello, were you in the army? Well, as horse, I'm not going to go into details about that. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. We need to get the followers built up. Hello, good morning from Long Forgan. Lovely to have you with us from Long Forgan, Mr. Real Guy. And good morning from Kilmarnock, says Jerry. Jerry, lovely to have you with us. Any plans for today, Scotty? Very, very, very busy today. And of course, tonight at 10 o'clock, the internet phone in. Just started a couple of weeks ago. It's huge, guys. Get right into that. Go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and tap the bell. All right. Very, very important. Good morning from Kilmarnock. With my big Kilmarnock bonnet as I run to catch the train. I'll never forget the trick that was played on me by Sandy Lane. <laughs> Where? Who have we got here? Good morning, sir. One question for you. When doing multiple platforms, why do certain ones get shut first? 
What do you mean get shut, Kulelo? I don't quite understand. Are you talking about when I switch off the TikTok? That's because I want to keep it under an hour because then I can get it out to you. I just subbed Scotty. Leo, you're an absolute top man. Top man. That is fantastic. If everybody can sub on the YouTube channel, guys. We're in the Gordon Highlanders. No, no, not in the Gordons. Bridge of Don Barracks, Aberdeen. Uh, so do you believe the SNP will give up power if we get independence? Well, I think what other parties will emerge? You see, we now have the Halba Party. The Halba Party. Scottish independence is bitterness. Cows wanting to join the EU mafia. Uh, my toss, you're talking complete and utter nonsense. <clears throat> Scottish independence is incredible courage and bravery. No cowards. The EU doesn't have a mafia. The EU is the world's top trading bloc of 52 countries and uh, 510 million people. Until we behaved like a bunch of halfwits two years ago, we were sitting right at the top table, and along with our dear friends and allies, Germany, we controlled 30% of the total market. Now we have nothing. Brexit cost us £250 billion. The United Kingdom is £350 billion down the Swanee right now. 250 billion of that is Brexit, and 100 billion of that is pandemic, the cost of the pandemic. So there you are. And we've had nothing to show for the Brexit. So let's top sense here. Uh, have you thought what kind of currency you'll be using when you become independent? Absolutely immaterial. We could use the pound Scots, we could use sterling. Nothing against us using sterling. Uh, we could be pegged to sterling. We could use the euro. You know, if we go back into Europe, there's all these things, not a problem. But they should publish. I do think that the nationalists should make two things very, very clear. The security of the crown 100% in perpetuity. Step one. Say we wish Her Majesty the Queen to continue in perpetuity, per perpetuity her heirs and successors as the head of state for Scotland. All right, that's that sorted. So no change there. Status quo. The next thing sorted is we need to renegotiate with Europe and get ourselves in there on a good deal. That's that. And they should also make clear which currency we're using because there is no argument for retaining the union. No argument at all. No unionist has ever put out a proper argument. Very interesting. And apparently there was a terrific drop in the party when they called themselves conservatives and unionists. Just... Poof. So I think these other parties should be looking at independence as well. What about an independent conservative party for Scotland? An independent liberal party? an independent Labour Party, you know, and there's always the SNP. Good morning from Inverkip. Have a great weekend, Scotty. You too, Inverkip. We love it. I haven't heard Scotty on the radio in a while. Obama, I haven't been on the radio for over a year, but I was on the internet phone-in brand new last night, two weeks old. Fantastic. Very successful. Get onto the YouTube channel and watch it. There we are. So there we go. And I think that might be bigger than the radio, guys. Follow every day. Follow us as soon as you come on. My Scotty uncle, Dinky Doo. Hi from Ayr, says McKinley. McKinley, lovely to have you with us. Can everybody follow us, please? I'm half Scottish. Which half? We need to know. There we are. Get on to the YouTube channel. You see the URL there. TikTok com Kiara. What are you talking about? There we are. Fantastic. Damn right, you're speaking facts, says Fat Dubé. Fat Dubé, I am indeed. Hello, Scotty from Somerset in the UK. We love Somerset, Jonty. Or he knows Somerset so well. Or he loves Bath. You see, the Scots love England, adore it. A fine and very early morning to you, sir. Happy Saturday, Scotty. What's for lunch, my fine friend? 
Jaunty, I think we're going for a little bit of scrambled egg for lunch. Very nice on toast, you see. Now, I'm not just an athlete. Blue passports, I know we should have our red passports for Europe. 70 million people robbed blind of EU citizenship just so that some billionaires don't have to pay their tax. Brexit is Britain's shame. Let's all hang our heads in shame for a minute. There we are. That's just uh, for Brexit. Scotland for independence. If a country wants it, then that's what will happen. But by God, man, please, please, not the SNP. Okay, Willem, calm down. You might find Scotty McClue might appear. You know, spoken like a true independent Scot, Scotty. Absolutely jaunty. Scotty, when's the phone in again? Tonight, Obama, at 10 o'clock sharp. Don't miss a second. Uh, Scottish independence is an admirable principle, but British independence from the EU doesn't fit. No, British independence from the EU. The Brexiteers have betrayed and broken Britain. Britain is now heading for economic annihilation and uh, political fragmentation. That's the result of Brexit. So your independence, your United Kingdom independence movement has broken up the United Kingdom. They've put the final nail in the coffin. Get rid of the crown as one of the best parts of independence. Smick too. There will be no independence if there's even a whiff of not securing the crown. The crown is our symbol of authority. Scotland took over the English crown in 1603. The crown is a Scottish institution. It's our symbol of authority. Her Majesty the Queen is the curator and custodian of the crown. So I'm afraid there'll be no change in that ever. Even a whiff of republicanism and independence will be stone dead in the water. Trust me. So there we are. So, Smick 2, you've got that 100% wrong, remember. There'll be no getting rid of the crown ever because you're isolating 50% of your voters right away. That's why it was lost the last time. And the nationalist movement need to look at their own history. So independence has failed a couple of times and it's because that they couldn't secure the crown. They couldn't guarantee the security of the crown. And that's what they need to do. The SNP worked for the Scots, fight against Westminster. Interesting, no? Yes, indeed. Guys, lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. Hashtag Floatie, the first lord of the internet. Can you get on to the YouTube channel? You'll see the URL right in front of you, just below my bio. Let me know when you've subbed and tapped the bell, because that's how you'll get the phone in. If you've got a Twitch account, Scotty underscore McClure, with two followers on Twitch last week, we've now got 67. So get on to Twitch, Scotty underscore McClure. Good afternoon, Scotty boy from Dubai. User, we love you in Dubai. How's things? Have you ever been to the Outer Hebrides, Scotty boy? Uh, Ryan, no, that's a luxury I've denied myself. I want to go to Lewis and Harris and Uist. And I want to say hello to the Yosuks and the Herocks and the Yusjaks. Yes, indeed. And go to Ben Bekula. Fantastic. Dinky do, Leo Dinky do. The SNP entire white paper was based on oil. Now they're with the Greens, by heavens. Well, yes, I'm not too sure of the Greens. I'm not sure about their monarchial um, credentials. So, you know, they're another lot that need to make sure that they can guarantee our head of state. Uh, wanting independence from the UK based on principle and criticizing us is hypocrisy. Yes, indeed. Have you looked into cryptocurrency? Worth a go or just a scam? Kulelio, I would never, ever, ever venture to give any guarantees on finance. I've made a lot of money on the stock market and I've lost a lot of money on the stock market because they will pull the rug on you when everything's high. So I would be very careful. 
Never ever invest money in the stock market you're not prepared to lose 100% of. There we are. So that will just cool your jets a wee bit there. Dinky do, my friends. Happy Saturday, Scotty. What's for lunch, my fine friend? I think, John, you were going for the scrambled egg on toast. I think that might be quite a nice touch. Scotty, I couldn't sleep, so just saying hello before I go back to bed. Sean. Sean is our leading astronomer in the desert in Arizona in the U.S. We love it. Thank you, Sean. Uh, so there we go. Just subscribe to the first law to the internet. Go on, Scotty. You're the man, Stephen. You will love the phone in. It's huge. It's just getting it to stride. It's a couple of weeks old, and last night was outstanding. We were talking about is the Orange Lodge on its way out? Has it had its day? Because apparently the Orangemen are walking in Glasgow today. And they were putting out that there was going to be 35,000 people turning up. And somebody else said it'll be about 4,000. Now that's quite a difference. So it'll be interesting to see how many Orangemen turn up. Apparently there's only 48,000 of them worldwide now. They're quite a small number, really. Uh, share as soon as you can. Share the lives and follow us, guys. First Lord of the Internet. Fantastic. Scotty, it's been a while. Dinky do. I figured it'd pop in. Ties. Lovely to have you with us. Too long. Don't see if it leave it so long next time. Can I ask what was your first job? Working on the boats, Leo, at the age of 12. I had a wee high voice. And I went down and spoke to the ferry master. I had to pluck up a lot of courage because I was 12 years of age on my bike. And I saw the ferry master who was about 67 at the time. And I went up to him and I said, in my little high voice, Mr. Ritchie. And he went, yes. And I said, my name's, I just wondered if you'd any jobs. And he said, jobs? What kind of jobs? I said, just helping out. He said, come down on Saturday. We'll see what we can do for you. Now, I got a Saturday sixpence or a shilling from my parents, two and a half P or five P. We used to hang about for mum because dad was a bit careful. We got the shilling from mum. Spent it on, a, on a, um, a, an educational publication. Anyway, <laughs> I got five shillings, two half crowns, 25p. So my income went from 5p max to 25p, I thought. We are in business. The SNP have been in power for far too long. It shows. Do you think they've been a success? Well, Willem, how do you measure success during a pandemic? I think they've done extremely well. You know, I'm very, very impressed with Nicola Sturgeon. And before her, Alex Salmond was an outstanding politician. Uh, do you think uh, they've been a success? So, yes, I mean, they've obviously been a success. They've got most of the vote. Uh, what do you think about inheritance tax, Scotty? Yes, I think that's the government being very, very greedy. You know what I mean? I think you should be able to pass on your stuff to your family tax-free. I want a rainbow passport, Scotty. Right, Jaunty, we look at that. My father was known as a rainbow because there were so many colours to him. An Irishman living in England, I have high hopes for the Scots. Dinky do. What was Britain like for trade before we joined the EU? Desperate, Kulelo. We were on our knees. Britain was bust and begged and begged and begged the EU on bended knee to let us into the single market because we knew that's where the, the dosh was. And um, General de Gaulle said, no, no roast beef. No, no which was naughty of him because we'd helped him out a lot during the war. So there we are. So Britain was bust mainly because of the cost of the Second World War. And, uh, and Germany was rebuilding, Japan was rebuilding, all that was going on, you know. So Britain was dreadful for trade before we joined the EU. Uh, to get Britain going back to being reasonably good at trade, you'd have to go pre-First World War. Pre-First World War. 
You know, I mean, there's a lot of crises before the First World War. Ireland and Scotland are both sisters. Yes, of course they are, and Wales, the Celtic nations. Why are you wearing the hat of the Black Watch? Because it's not the Black Watch. There we go. I do think the Black Watch do wear a Glengarry, but this is not one. Do you think Scotland would be wealthier by independence? Oh, hugely, Alan. You'd have an extra 48 billion right away. Right away. You know, if we kept our own income, I think what, if we don't go for full independence, I think say to Westminster, look, we want to keep our own income and we'll contribute to defence, etc. like that, but we need to retain our own income. We'll not bother about independence, but we want absolutely full fiscal autonomy. Yes, that's the thing. There we go. You can't pick and choose. The Queen is the UK. If you want to run away, you can't take what you like. Excuse me. The Queen is only the UK because the Scots agreed to take over the English crown and run it. So no, 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 no. The Queen is the Queen of Britain. But Britain, yeah, not the UK, does include the four countries. So the monarch is the British monarch, yes? And Scotland is still part of Great Britain, which is a land mass. Are you with me? There we are. So there's no picking and choosing. Her Majesty is the head of state in Scotland. That will remain in, perpetu in perpetuity. I need to practice that word. Underpaying drivers due to the market saturations ended. Drivers are getting paid so much now. Good. They earn every single penny of it. Fill up the supermarket shelves. Now, what on Barra in Barra Atlantic Fish Factory, changing lights for Donald. Good, Ryan. I'm very pleased to hear that. Kamraha u hakama. Scotty, I got to go by. It was a pleasure to watch Obama. It's an absolute privilege and a pleasure having you with us live on TikTok. Dinky do, I say to you. So there we are. More nuclear submarines for Scotland. Yes, nuclear powered submarines. We need to get, the, the news is very poor these days. Their editorial stuff's nonsense. The BBC themselves were pushing um, after the cabinet reshuffle that the new uh, Home Secretary was the first female Home Secretary? Foreign Secretary. The first female Foreign Secretary in British history. Margaret Beckett, 2006, in Blair's cabinet. Dear, or was it Brown's cabinet? I can't remember, but Margaret Beckett was the first female uh, in that. Your life's so sad. I hope you find happiness. God bless. Who are you talking to, David? My life is so good. You may be reflecting yourself, David. That's what we call classic projection. If you're having a sad life, you're trying to put it on to others. Well, you can't. There we go. Uh, Lisbon, we'll just send you down the swanee for trolling. Lisbon's leaving us, guys, for trolling. Here he goes, half-witted idiot. Block, block, gone. There we are. Excellent stuff. We don't have any. And you don't scroll. So that's an end to Lisbon. Um, so that's it. Poor David Lawrence. Good luck with tonight at 10 o'clock. My son's playing for Pollock FC in the Scottish Cup. Alan, that's brilliant. Good luck to him. Uh, there we go. You're just spamming now. He's catching on to the messages. Absolutely. What I'll do with this guy here. Uh, I'll get rid of this David Lawrence Goodwin. A spammer. Bye, bye, spammer. There he's gone. That's the end of him. Uh, so, good stuff. Fantastic. Uh, yes, good luck tonight. Thank you very much. You remind me of my history teacher. Thank you. The Queen of the UK should represent unity for the greatest country in the world. The United Kingdom. The United Kingdom's not a country, my thought. I sometimes wonder what's going on in your head. The United Kingdom is four countries, Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. The Queen is the head of state of all of them. 
to understand. So the United Kingdom's not a country. <laughs> That's just some unionist myth that they're trying to perpetuate. Hi from Glasgow, Scotty. I was sorting out lots of old money the other day and a lots of a florin and a shilling. We misses woman. The florin was two shillings and the shilling 5p, florin 10p. We got robbed in 1971. Good morning, first lord of the internet. Who was your favourite magic roundabout character, Mr. Rusty Zebedee? Well, I was very fond of Florence, and Zebedee, of course, said time for bed. Guys, have you all followed me on TikTok? Please get on to that right away. Remember never to troll or you'll just be put down the swanee right away. No spamming allowed either, of course. This is TikTok's top talk show. Was the educational magazine bought off the top shelf? No, Kulelio, it was actually the middle shelf so we could reach it. Here we are. It was called Look and Learn. There we are. Dinky do. Hello to you, my friend with a good morning from Blackpool. Good morning. Anybody remember Look and Learn? You got a Look and Learn annual. De Gaulle had a very bad memory. Yes, Kulelio. De Gaulle had to be reminded. Churchill liked him, though. Churchill and Charles de Gaulle got on very, very well indeed. Mrs. de Gaulle as well uh, was quite a top lady. England needs a strong nationalist government to squash these Scottish delusions. Uh, my hosh, heroes, uh, there needs to be no squashing. Scotland agreed to join England and had to devalue its economy in 1707. They also had about 300 MPs in Scotland and they had to go down to 45 to the Commons and 16 to the Lords. So if anything, Westminster needs to take a telling and learn not to bite the hand that feeds it. Are you with me? So there's no squashing anything. That's just going to come back stronger. As I say, the only thing I would lay down is that they need to ensure the perpetuity of Her Majesty the Queen as our head of state, then independent. You see, remember, the monarchy is apolitical. Independence is political. You can split the parliaments, but you never, ever, 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 ever meddle with the crown. Yes, the Scottish crown, Nemo me impune lacessit. Wa dor meadow wi me. Nobody attacks me with impunity. Have you got it? So anything, we know, what we need to do is squash Westminster from coming out with nonsense and taking all the money from Scotland. That needs to be squashed. Have you got that? There we are. They lack maturity. You lack maturity. It's not possible for you guys to be released. No, I know, cash flow, because we are cash cows. Independence is normal. Having another country control your future is not normal. Freedom all the way. No, well, we did enter into the union with open mind, but the union was very, very much jiggery pokery by a Stuart monarch, Queen Anne. She was not good about that. Bunny, right enough, Northern Ireland, no surrender, 1690. Well, I think we've already surrendered, particularly in Northern Ireland, to a bunch of Hurry Henrys. It was called Brexit. So I'm afraid surrender has happened. God save our Queen. Absolutely, God save the Queen. The green, green grass of home. Absolutely. Fat, fatal. Uh, hiya, Scotty. Thanks for all your uh, requests over the past years. Your number one mate. Devolution isn't independence, no. But if you had 100% fiscal autonomy, if you had Scotland controlling its own media, as it should be doing, if you had Scotland keeping every penny of its income, apart from making a contribution to things like defence, that would be rather good. You need a moderator, Scotty. Just give me the nod. Kulelio, thank you so much. We, we, the people on here are outstanding. We get the odd half-wit, we've got a couple on today, and we get the odd wee troll who's just not mature enough to handle 
a proper live stream. Apart from that, all is well. Well said, sir. God save our Queen from Northern Ireland. Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland are vassals of the UK. Yes, and that has to stop with immediate effect. Hence the independence. Good morning, Scotty. Well, sir, sir. I was the two shilling and a flan. I was sorting some old ones too from 1860 with Queen Victoria on. Now, the 1861, we would have quite a young Queen Victoria on it. The, uh, I don't think it will be the one with her veil when she was older because Prince Albert hadn't died by 1860, so she wasn't grieving. Uh, do you not do radio anymore? Well, I uh, the last radio station was one year ago, just over a year ago. But we're now doing the internet phone-in, and it's huge. It's only been going a couple of weeks, and you can hear it. Go on to the YouTube channel, subscribe, tap the bell to get the notifications, and listen to last night's phone-in. It's amazing. Well said, sir. In fact, we did it with TikTok. You'll see it on TikTok. Alba Gouvra. So there we are. No surrender. Well, no surrender. I think, yes, as I say, we've already surrendered through Brexit. The UK was in the EU, not solely England. The UK is a grand empire with bratty children. My thoughts, you're not the sharpest tool in the box, La, I have to say. But that doesn't mean that uh, we don't like you. My husband put the gigs on in Bears Den Town Hall and in Arran many moons ago. We misses women. We love it. Fantastic. Right. Well said. The four nations of the United Kingdom. Yes, indeed. The U.S. has sought independence fundamentally from the monarchy. My thoughts here is you are 100% wrong there yet again. Let me educate you before I dash off. Uh, what we've got there, the U.S. wanted the monarchy desperately. They approached Charles Edward Stuart to ask him to be their king after the War of Independence. He was elderly and he did turn it down. They were brokenhearted, so they went uh, as a republic with a president. But they were desperate to get a monarchy. They weren't too keen on the Hanoverians, I have to say, but they certainly loved their monarchy. And I think America would still come home to mama, you know? So there we go. So, no, you're wrong again. You keep getting it so wrong. Predictions for Norwich versus Watford. If I give you the score, Dave, the television companies will not be happy. So there we are. Right, we're going to have to dash. God save us from the Queen Lambretta. What rubbish are you talking about? You should scoot. So there we are. To be honest, Lizzie is funny. Oh, you know her, do you? Uh, you admit you're a vassal. By definition, the UK is a single. No, the UK is not singular. By definition, it's a united kingdom of four kingdoms. Well, sorry, three kingdoms and a principality. Dinky do, I say. Now, yes, Queen Victoria is young on the coin. I have some with her veil too. So there we are. Who have we got here? Long time since I've been on. How are you? Daz, lovely to have you with us. You're fabulous, Scotty. Keep doing what you're doing. We, Mrs. Woman, so are you. Right, guys, I'm going to have to dash. Do you want to tune on the squeeze box before we go? Just to say bye. Have a lovely day. Here we go. Right, I've got the squeeze box. Are we ready? <laughs>
you go. Now, here we've got some Havrit. Thanks for the time. Hopefully you'll grow intellectually when it comes to Indy. Scotland leads the world, my thoughts. Education. Yes, we invented virtually everything you use in your everyday life. From Scotland, just say thank you. And remember, don't ever bite the hand that feeds you. There we go. Let's hope you grow up and get yourself a wee bit education and stop getting everything you say wrong. Remember, you're better to keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool than to open it and prove it. All right, my thoughts. There we go. Thank you very much. Everybody, good morning, Scotty. Dinky do. Have a lovely day, my dear, dear friends. Join us tonight at 10 o'clock sharp for the phone-in. Go on to the YouTube channel and subscribe. You'll see the URL right in front of you, just below my bio. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. ta la -las.